What's going on, everybody? Jacob Snow here, bringing you a recorded Legends of Albany session. This is a tutorial session uh, intended for new players. It'll be starting once everybody gets here, here in a minute or two. Um, we're recording this because one of the new players who wanted to watch a session tonight uh, had a power outage, which is always super scary. And I don't uh, want to leave them out in the cold on this. So we're going to record this session for them. But it also has advantages that carry over to you. Because this shows you both how to GM Legends of Albany over Discord. And how to play Legends of Albany over Discord. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need is a Microsoft Word. I'm not sure what the Mac word processor is called. But... Uh, or a Linux document, you will need to insert a table. And for the purposes of our tutorial, we've got a 12 by 5 table. Did setup. I miss it? Uh, no, I'm just running through the uh, setup specifications as we are recording uh, to help out a homie whose power just went out. Oh, um, and you will, just one second, uh, you will put monster names on part of the board, and you will put player names on the other part of the board. As a great example, hey, uh, Margaret, what's your character's name? Gwen. That's right. And you'll put player names on the other side of the board. Now, movement is handled by taking, uh, units movement speed copying their name and moving it a series of spaces and then pasting their name back in. Dice rolling is done either with physical dice, like I do, or with a dice rolling application like several players do. However, it is worthy of noting that the results from uh, dice rolling emulators such as Google Dice are not as random as they seem. So that's the basic setup section, and uh, as the game continues, uh, we will break down uh, how Legends of Alpadin works for newer players, uh, as this is a more tutorial-focused vid. And uh, looking forward to a great night. Whew. Now it's the intro spiel out of the way. How you doing, Margaret? Good. Just make sure this recording it is. Good deal. But uh, I'm glad to hear it. This will be your first encounter against undead. I now realize uh, previous rounds you've only engaged against uh, bandits. Everyone! <laughs> and I'm uh, literally... Uh, Dakota! I think something's on fire in the oven. Grand! I'm gonna go tell him fuck this off or joining in the chat. It did something fall on the burner? Moderately problematic, but the show must hey, go. Hey, Goldie. On. Hi. We're not going to, don't worry. Well, I was sitting right here and all of a sudden it started glowing differently. Yeah. My stove just caught on sure. fire. <laughs> well, shit. Wait, what? Yeah, it seems the heating element in my stove came detached. 
Bruh. And Why does this shit always happen when you're trying to do Albuden, huh? It's just life. Like I said, just every the, fucking the time we try to do Albuden, you, do, you burn down the fucking place. Every time. Like, goddamn. You totally did. What? Yes. You it's got the good the burning down your house, Briet. <laughs> On the bright side, we have a wood stove. Why the fuck can't I open this cab? Okay, we go. Got it. Ow. Ow. What is playing? What is playing? Ow. If I was monetized, Ow. I would be worried. Oh. Alright, let's see what's on the stream. Ah, uh, yes, nothing. Mm -hmm. My shoulder hurts, bro. Fuck. Two minutes. Wait, stop. You've got two minutes? No, I'm asking how long I need to microwave the child's chicken patties for. One minute, flip it, one minute. Nah. No. If it, relax, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen anyway, whether I'm the one who pushes the button or not. Oh well. Huh? I am recording. Well, while we're busy with uh, Jake having some technical issues on his end, I'm gonna tell y'all that I realized that a Yakko Silver Ramen is the same price as one of the craft boxes of mac and cheese. So naturally, I bought two boxes of craft mac and cheese. Because I'm an idiot. No, that's a good plan. It's more value. Exact same price, like exactly in an instance, both of them worse. Don't like fuck it, whatever. So inevitably, once I know in a session, I'm gonna go make myself a craft mac and cheese. You can make your craft mac. No matter if it's eleven o'clock at night. Nah, too late now. People are upstairs. I don't like people. <sighs> oh. And to answer your question on what was playing, I was watching the movie, the original Footloose movie. So if you're lost. <laughs> Taste in movies aside, uh, Gold, which character are you bringing? Ulrich. Who? Ulrich. Ulrich? Big boy. Big boy. Ulrich. Ugh. Ernie? Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I do. Fantastic. Well, that's who I'm using. Oh, yes, we have the new player and the min max are in the same session. <laughs> if, they wanna, if they want a feel for the game, I'll give them a feel for the fucking game, man. <laughs> By using God to your enemies. <laughs> and then uh, there's me. With my only character. I mean, do I need to pull someone lower tier? Not no. Again. You're, you're good. No. But you're not getting your entourage. I don't want my entourage. I'm need... What's wrong with entourage? Are you removing it from the game? Maybe. Please don't. It's what makes Ruiner viable. Given the fact that Ruiner hasn't seen play in over eight months, I don't know about that one, G. <laughs> and I haven't even seen official gameplay yet, so. Uh, that's your fault for not watching the YouTube video. Ha! <laughs> it's your fault for not hosting a fucking Legends of Albion session! <laughs> Girl, girls, you're both pretty. Let's go fucking do this. <laughs> I'm bored and I want to make my food. Let's get this over with. 
Why don't you go make your food first and then come back? Because again, food. as I as previously stated, there are people there upstairs. people upstairs, and I've been dealing with people for the last eight fucking hours. I'm good. Yeah. All right. This is what I get for working at a grocery store as a stalker. Gwen, I'm gonna need you to roll one d six. One d six. Oh, let me find my Gwen, dice. Here they are. You. Oh, not me. Okay. Nope. You are not designated party leader for this mission. Oh, and, uh, Fox left. Oh, well. <sighs> It'll be fine. Oh, we'll be good. Is someone you have something on the screen, I'll log into the stream. It's on the screen, dude. It's been on the screen the entire time. Um, I see a funny gray box. Yeah, it's all gray. Wait, it With a look. little white box. I see a, I see all gray and a little white box. Hmm. That's annoying. Click on the funny box. It says control. If it right. helps your cause. I'm pulling up the document again. What's it saying now? box that says control uh it might be because streamer mode is currently enabled on discord yeah with that in mind how's that going now same thing oh okay. try clicking off the control box the control box isn't on my screen all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to end the stream, and then we're going to start the stream again, all right? Okay. Couldn't we just do this in the Legends of Albedon just general voice chat? That's where we, we are, are still, we? What, do you think we just called you randomly? <laughs> I didn't realize it was already in the general server. <laughs> Strum. All right, is it working now? I got nothing. Just box that says control. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm check, saying. Check your settings. Why are you trolling me? I'm not. I will send you a screenshot of it if you uh, want. It. I was asking Discord. Because Discord obviously hates you. It's true. And sadly, I don't know how to stream, so... <laughs> Fucking laptop not bugged up. Still the same. Yeah, still the same. How about now? Um, it is now a has a light gray outline. Now has a what? It now has a light gray outline on the top and the bottom. Does it help your cause at all? Um, no. So we are still going to do this the traditional way. The only difference is going to be you guys don't get to see the board. Fantastic. Oh, great. But well, don't worry. Like I'm <laughs> going to uh, run with you fairly. Don't worry. Uh, Gwen, is it C2? Oric, is it D2? D two, yeah. Man, can we just do this like free, uh, like free board? Maybe easier. Sure, but I'm still going to be moving stuff on the board. I'll just be describing what happens, yeah. and you guys will be describing just... what you do, and I'll be handling all of that on my end. Perfect. Does that work for you? Works fine for me. I'm just trying to get my laptop actually fucking working because it's being stupid again. 
All right, so the uh, the adventuring party, as currently assembled, is walking on a forest path through uh, northwestern Donyavar en route to the territory posed by the Shadow Legion. Um, an adventuring missive has uh, called you guys to action against some undead that have been troubling the nearby villages. Um, as you proceed on this path, you're now aware that there are indeed undead troubling, troubling this region, and they're right in front of you. Ahead of you, you see... A small cavalcade of skeletons and a single rot walker. What do Cap you do? Hmm. The fuck is falling down? Okay. <laughs> well, what do you think we should do? It would appear that the party leader has taken a leave of her senses, currently leaving Auric in control. What's up? Er, uh, I, I presume you're talking about me. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, I was asking what we're doing. I'm gonna launch Black Hole. Okay. Uh, go ahead and read off what that does. I guess we're launching Black Holes of Bone People. All right. Black Hole deals 10 damage to all enemies. They are moved to adjacent to each other in an area designated by the caster. Well, unfortunately for you, you're not getting that far with these enemies. Um, they seem Let's... to have been removed from reality uh, due to the uh, sheer power of the spell leveled at them. Um, unfortunately for you, it would appear that your work is not yet done, because as you pat yourself on the back for a job well done, more bony hands pop out of the ground as numerous skeletons surge into the place once occupied by their uh, undead brethren. Uh, ready to do battle, and unfortunately, Black Hole uh, is a limited use spell so once per battle yes mm -hmm. i'm aware and as the battle continues um once per battle abilities that have been utilized cannot be utilized again for those of you watching at home huh so is it my turn now well margaret still has her movement and three of her attack speed left the skeletons are a moderate distance away from you. Uh, they're just out of range of your magical attacks. Gwen? I'm going to pass my turn. All right, Rick, your turn. Um, are, all the, are all the skeletons same distance? Like, are they all, like, roughly three spaces? Um, so the skeletons are roughly um, 40 feet away from you. And they oh. are in a light military formation. Light military. Yeah, she will make it there within movement. You think so? I think so. Yeah. So you sprint right. forward at full speed. And stop squarely in the front of the skeletal military formation, prepared to do battle um, with your enemies. You are now adjacent to three skeletons. What do you do? Perfect. I'll pop three attacks at each of them. All right. Skeleton All right. one. All right. Skeleton one. Three on four. Oh, perfect. Two go through. Roll 2d6 for damage. They're skeletons. They're not renowned yeah. for their staunch defense. How much HP did they start with? Uh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Um, I need to know for an ability. Three apiece, unfortunately for you. Well, they're still going to die inevitably. Alright. Three damage to one. 
Seven damage to two to the other one. I mean, hold on. Let me let me redo that. I know what you mean. Ten damage in total. Uh, with a single might with a pair of mighty strikes, the skeleton it just falls apart. It just clatters to the ground, lifeless bones once again. So Next three attack on skeleton. Three and four. Two go through. Boxcars! The skeleton evades both of your strikes. They just pass right between his ribs. Lovely. I I thought that was Number impossible. Number three. That makes two of us. Numero trace. Oh, that's just grand. One goes through. Don't be boxcars again. <laughs> okay, roll 1d6 for damage. You're good. <laughs> Seven, seven damage. Uh, infuriated by the fact that the other skeleton evaded your wrath, you just punch the skull clean off this other one, and devoid <coughs> from its enchantment anchor, the bones just clatter to the ground. Sweet. Now, however, the military formation begins to close ranks. They advance... Ignoring the remains of their now fallen comrades. Yes, the one skeleton does not care about his other two brothers dead. <laughs> nope. No skeleton. Seems care. legit. You're right, it does. And what's worse right. is the back wings of the formation are now sprinting around to attack your flanks. Okay. So you have a total of 10 attacks incoming. Okay. Oh, shit. I have no problem with this. Two. <laughs> I do. Four. I'm actually fine. I'm actually fine. Because I only have here. a total of... Hold on. Are they going... Hold on. Uh, is it going for Margaret or me? Oh, for you. You're in their formation, uh, G. <laughs> you said eight? Uh, eight attacks have hit you. You need to roll uh, three defense dice due to your out. I'm going to knock that down to four key. attacks. Because block four OP. It's true. Wait, do I have another block? Hold on. You have a block score characteristic of five. I still have nightmares. About All right. It. You know what? I'm going to leave it at four. <laughs> That's not how that <laughs> works, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, okay. Knock down to three then. Three on threes. Oh, that's just helpful. Two go through. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, seven damage. I dodge it. I'm aware. <laughs> you see why I'm not worried now, Margaret? I just don't have a good time with this character. All right. Um, I have an amazing time. <laughs> I'm aware that you do. <laughs> Or make your life a living terrifying. hell if we go into PvP. Alright, the skeletons just kind of stand there and stare bemusedly at the place where Auric was once standing. He folds his arms and laughs mockingly just because, you know, even though they're undead, um, he, he's still doesn't, enjoying a yeah, laugh at their expense. Auric does a little chortle because he can't talk. Well, he can still laugh. It might sound creepy. Can you still laugh without a voice box? Can you? Hold on, let me Google that. I think so, but I think it would be more of a wheezing than like. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna test that theory. That is actually interesting. Can you laugh without a voice box? Okay, so it's like there's, it's like more like air escaping the nose, light, so it's like a. <laughs> so it's it's an eternal chortle. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. So, uh, Auric wheezes at the skeleton's expense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Glenn, it's your turn. <laughs> Auric blows air at the skeleton. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Our turn now, or is there still more shit I gotta do? Oh, uh, no, the skeletons are done, because they're just like, hey, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> they give up. What the fuck, bro? Well, again, they're still just staring at where you stood with their heads slightly tilted. My 
McDonald's always fucking up my order, bro. I asked for six damage, they gave me a dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so is it my turn or Margaret's turn right now? It's Margaret's turn. Alright. Fucking up, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of blanked. Sorry. You're fine. Dissociation happens to all of us. I <laughs> see break, but yeah. So what am I doing? <laughs> You're taking attacking. your damn turn. <laughs> attacking, attacking skeletons or some shit. I don't know. Or some shit. At the moment, there are two skeletons in range of your basic attack. Okay. And their levels? Uh, Three hit points, above average movement speed, low attack speed. Hmm. HP? I, three. Yeah, three. Each. Six in total. And there's how many? Two in range. Two. <sighs> Do I need to tell you what they're made of as well? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a basic attack. Okay. Well, what is the basic attack you mind me asking? It's just a basic attack. It's uh, range 8. So it's like a little fire poof with your wand or some shit? It's just basic, I... yeah, pretty much. Cool. So how do you want to uh, divide your attack speed? Because you've got four attack speed and two potential targets. Yeah, I'm just trying to find my document real quick. You hit on see. fours. I thought I hit on threes. You do hit on threes, you're right, because of the uh, Magister Elite. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I'm just trying to find my document. Hey, Gally, random question. Yes. So... Auric has a rant, has just a baseline plus two damage per hit, but it also has a plus four damage per hit for enemies with twenty plus starting HP. Does that mean it's plus six, or does it mean like it's plus six? Unless otherwise specified, damage bonuses, attack bonuses, and other you know keyword shit stacks. Lovely. So, for instance, let's say you were using a ranged weapon with like True Strike three, but you have the ranged proficiency skill. Uh, that True Strike three would be elevated to True Strike five. Ah, okay. Because it was a ranged weapon. Yeah. Fucking slow and that's driving me nuts. I have built Org to not take damage because he has a flat damage resist two. Two dodges. Five block. Dear God. He's a tank with above average attack speed. Yes, he <laughs> is. And I love him. He's a very... He, he's a tank that moves well. Sorry, I'm procrastinating this so badly. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just slowly getting <clears throat> away at my sanity. do 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 it's not copyrighted because I'm doing it. That's fair. Hey, anything I do is fucking <laughs> either gonna get you to monetize the media immediately or is okay. Probably both of them being honest. Anything I say or do will get you demonetized. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I haven't been canceled yet, so. How have how haven't I been canceled? That's my question. I have cursed to shit content. Okay, uh, well, where I mean, did that go? That is bugging me. Wildcat hasn't been canceled either. Orc, go ahead and take your turn while uh, Gwen contemplates her neighbor. 
I can't whistle for shit. <laughs> Rook. It's your turn. What? Okay, cool. How many skeletons are left, and how many are there are around me? Five, and you are only adjacent to two because you moved out of their uh, flank formation. Okay. I'm going to move exactly one space back to where I originally was. So I'm surrounded by all five. All right. Uh, all right. How do I divide five into two? Nine into, nine into two and under five people. Five, four. Let's count this out. You, all right. uh, you send two into four of them and one into the last. And a four of them, and then one of the five. All right, so we're gonna get over. We're gonna get the one attack over first. All right. Because I doubt it's gonna hit. <clears throat> All right, one attack on four. fours into this random dude. Goes through. Roll one d six for damage. He failed his defense. Three damage. Who's that? Uh. Who's that, that was tap, Raptor. Tap, tap, tapping on my window. Is it that pesky raven again? Me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. Next up, uh, Skelly number, Boner Man number two. Their two attacks are, on fours. One brief uh, aside. Their heads are, have stopped tilting. They're now just staring at you. Well, uh, well uh, one, one attack went through. Because the work can't read, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it blocks your sword strike with a sword of its own. Does the sword fall out of its hand? Yes, yeah. it does. All right. That's what's troubling. It doesn't. All right, cool. Um, two attacks on next guy on fours. One goes through again. Roll 1d6 for damage. Six damage. Now, you really can't believe your eyes. What? The skeleton, seeing its doom impending, jumps backward using the exact same movement that you did. Ulrich realizes there are a bunch of fucking copycats. Two attacks <laughs> on the next guy. Uh, one goes through. Honestly, uh, Ulrich would be pretty... Ulrich would be pretty, um, normal... Pretty... pretty Unfazed by it because he has so many copycats because he's in the arena. Seven damage. Nope. Okay, we'll do this my way. One attack on the next guy. <laughs> oh no, what do I do? What? Sorry, you're glitching out. Can you say that again? I said, oh no, what have I done? Alright, 1d6 on the next guy. Goes through. Roll for damage. One. Perfect. Three damage. This skeleton did not perceive the strike to be a threat because, like, I don't know what you did differently. So you just knock its head off with the flat of your blade and the bones crumple to the ground. Alright. Is there still a skeleton near me or is there, there more I can move There are still two skeletons adjacent to you. Alright. Throw my last attack into one of them. It misses anyway, but... <laughs> if only I had built fucking radial attack. Oh well. Gwen continues to contemplate her navel as the skeletons take their turn. Well, they can try again. <laughs> Let's do this bullshit. <laughs> One attack hits. Of the first of the volley. Oh, you're doing this my way. Blocked. Uh, the skeletons now realize they don't have enough attacks to get through your defense. So they begin sprinting pell-mell down the field toward Margaret. Auric makes his mute laugh. Uh, so it's on me again. Uh, yep. In a way. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> You're under attack. Not How really. How far away are they? Right in your face. <laughs> they gave okay. up on me. And, and you do not get to heroically intervene either. <laughs> you have to defend <laughs> yourself before you get your turn. 
Man, these bone these boner men are smart. They're running away from orc. <laughs> right. So I you can't need... attack, or I can. Not yet. You need to roll me a uh, two d six for defense. Boner, funny bone man, smart. Run away from orc. <laughs> And I need to get a dice. I need to find like an, a picture of like a heavy leather suit, so that way it looks like he has actual armor. One d six for damage. Uh, or so your attempted evasion said. was mostly successful, but the skel- the tip of the skeleton sword still grazed your arm. You're now lightly bleeding, but your life is in no immediate danger. Yeah, but I have that curse of the rat bullshit. Oh wait, that's only when critically damaged. Yeah, critically damaged, i.e. dead. Curse of the rat? <laughs> oh, you missed a session, yeah. my friend. <laughs> Your boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I did. Gave me the wonderful curse of the rat. I got a Leviathan egg. <laughs> I take it I still need to roll. Um, no, it's your turn now. Was this, um... V's campaign, or am I stupid? It was V's, it was V's. V's campaign, yeah. Oh, the one I died in? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're not the only one that happened, too. Again, Bl- Blank was still the biggest loser dying. I think Blank died faster than me. Uh-huh. Like, almost instantly. Alright, so I can do a basic attack? Or you can cast a spell. But uh, you cannot use your ranged attacks unless you move back, uh, because uh, they're too in your grill for you to accurately wave your wand around. Effectively, if you try to do a ranged attack, you just take one. Staff, not a wand. Still, no special. You still would stick. be poking them. <laughs> All right, I'll use my Lycuri Reaper. Oh, that's right, you did buy an axe. Been around! <laughs> okay, so you use one action to change weapons. Will that be a movement action or an attack action? And I have... Uh... <laughs> I'll use movement. Alrighty. Here's Raptor is um lurking in this one. Yeah, Raptor's Fair spectating. Fair enough. If Raptor has texted me, I cannot check my messages right now. If my brother says fuck off upstairs one more time, I'm going to commit war crime. Uh to thyself be sure. <laughs> indeed I will be deeply amused if you commit a war crime on stream. <laughs> I can Don't do it challenge right me, now. mortal. <laughs> I can do it right now. <laughs> Don't challenge me, puny mortal. Okay, Gwen, what you yeah, gonna do? Yeah, I asked. Uh, I asked if there was a stream. Yes, we are recording the session because one of the homies lost power, and we're recording session zero for him. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know where stream is. Uh, there is not a stream, unfortunately. The Damn board it. stream is glitched. Mick fucking didn't work. So oh, okay. uh, this board doesn't like. It said Mick fuck it. Yeah. So I'm right. still recording what's happening on the board. It's just the players can't see it. Hmm. Yeah. It's given me a chance to be more uh, visually descriptive with my words, though, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> The skeletons Which is why the are, funny uh, boner men have learned to dodge Oryx attacks. <laughs> yeah, the skeletons are starting to develop atrophy, waiting for Margaret to take her fucking turn. I said I was a basic attack! Answers okay. a bit. Oryx is squatting and moss is growing on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> is, no, uh, listen, bone cancer's a bitch and you're making it go faster. <laughs> how many is there? Alright, there are two skeletons adjacent to you and you have an attack speed of four. Right. Three. You have an attack speed of three. Noted. I have three regular, or three standard plus four, and I have a four with my axe. 
All right, so you have four attacks that you can disperse between two enemies, or you can just dump them into one. I'm going to split them between two. All righty, what's your split? What do you mean, what's my split? All right, is it going to be three, <laughs> one, two, two? Two and two. Or All one, right. three. Roll me 2d6 for the skeleton to your left. 2d6. Number of dice. 2. And a roll. Are you using Google Dice? 1. One, one hit. Alright. Uh, the skeleton almost defends itself, but your strike has connected. Roll 1d6 for damage. 1d6 for damage. 3. Perfect. Skeleton still doesn't register it as a threat, and it just fucking explodes when your axe collides with its ribcage. Alright, on to the next skeleton. What? Alright. Oh, okay. I am doing a basic attack again. Okie dokie. Roll me 2d6. 2 6 set die. Is he using Google Dice? She is. Not everyone has a mm -hmm. plethora of d6 like me and you do, Gold. <laughs> I only have 11. Rolled a 2 and a 6. I'm rapidly approaching 20 and I want to buy more. <laughs> Oh, I rolled I a two and a more. six. Right. I play 40k. I need at least two. Uh, it goes through. Roll 1d6 for damage. everyone there? Hello? I don't hear anything. Oh no. Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Because I cannot hear anyone. Hello? Hmm. Well, with that, we're going to end the tutorial recording because it seems my Discord has decided to kick the bucket once and for all. I hope you enjoyed this portion of Session Zero. I will be posting on our Twitter, at Studios Ridge. Um, to explain anything that happens that is not covered by the recording. Uh, until next we meet, may your journey continue.